the golden sheath fit for uh, uh, fit for the king and of night and it's to carry into battle the legendary sheath that protected uh, its owner and led her uh, to uh, to so many victories I reproduce it vividly without uh, deviation and so uh, and as beautiful as it, uh, it ever was even though that's not the sheath we're trying to imagine here And, no matter the end waiting us, I won't uh, ever forget this. I will engrave this image uh, in my mind. I hear Saber's voice. I feel something uh, that was, uh, is within me for the longest time scraped from my body. Escaped from my body. It must have come out uh, great, as Saber uh, is so uh, related that uh, it, uh, it surprises me. My body is still uh, so searing hot that uh, as I topple face first onto the ground. <laughs> Saber hurries back towards the house. As I listen to her footsteps, I take a deep breath. I think that turned out, uh, I think that turned out great. It was perfect. I don't think anything else I project will ever turn out so perfect. See ya. Thanks for everything. I bid farewell to the thing that had been part of me for so long. The golden sheath that protected her. I will never ever forget it. Though it's left my body, its form has been forever engraved into my heart. The moon hangs, in, hangs high in the sky. The clouds have finally cleared and the black uh, of night is giving uh, way to indigo. It will be dawn soon. The long night is about to end. It will be the last one. During the night, uh, Saber and I travel uh, to our destination. <laughs> This is where we perform the stabby stab. I hear the tension in Saber's voice. She's not the only one. As I quietly nod, I feel uh, I feel uh, the cold sweat trickling down my neck. The mountain feels like a living thing. Chills run down my spine, stifling the pre uh, stifling pressure assails me uh, with every step I take. The air is thick and damp. <laughs> The summoning of the Holy Grail has begun. Maybe it, uh, it's even uh, uh, maybe it's uh, it's even over by now. Either way, Gilgamesh uh, has probably uh, has probably defeated uh, Lancer. Let's go over it one more time, Saber. Once we reach the top, the only thing left will be uh, the fight. You take care of Gilgamesh, I'll take care of the master, Kotamine. Neither of us will get in involved in each other's fight. If one of us defeats their opponent, that'll be the end of us. That'll be the end of it. <laughs> Stabby stab! Right, yeah, leave him uh, to me and Saber, don't let him de um, beat you. There is no longer hesitation and a worry in, my, in her voice. I don't need uh, to say anything else to her. We will, uh, uh, we will head uh, to battle and determine uh, and, and the final master... Uh, and determine the final master in this war. But if, in the process, if one of us dies, the survivor just has to kill their opponent. Even if I'm defeated, so as long as Saber defeats Gilgamesh, Kotamine uh, get, uh, won't get his hands on the Holy Grail. At the same time, if Saber is defeated by Kotamine, Gilgamesh can't stay manifested. So we don't have uh, uh, so we don't have to cover for each other. 
This battle is, has now each, our, uh, uh, each, each of ours alone. And so we climb the stone steps. The closer we get to the temple, the denser the air gets. Sweat trickles down my back. An ominous premonition creeps over me. At the top of the stone staircase, our greatest enemies await, await us. But I don't really care about that. We go up the stairs, closer and closer to the temple gate. Everything will be over. No matter who wins this battle, Saber will disappear. The endless but fleeting days of fighting will finally be over and Saber will disappear from the world. She'll return to her time where she belongs. And I can't say I don't have any regrets. I'm going to lose Saber. I'm going to lose the person I vow to protect. The person I most want to be happy. Even, uh, even now, I don't know just how painful that uh, will be. For now, we're, uh, you know, we're still walking together and I can uh, feel her presence. I'm not prepared to lose her. Even if I knew, you know, uh, even if I knew a few days before, even if from the moment we met, I knew you know, we would eventually part ways. Thinking back, we made so many memories. We walked together some nights, fought uh, together some nights. At first, we did everything I could to, pre uh, uh, to pre sa prevent Saber, a girl, from fighting. She also kicked my, de my ass in the dojo. I also slept in the shed because I was too embarrassed to sleep in a room right next to hers. We ate lunch together. Saber liked baths. She liked, uh, she liked my cooking, like the clothes Tosaka brought her. And she would, they had uh, incoherent and conversation and with Fujini. She pushed herself, shouldered all the, bur uh, the burdens herself, and finally collapsed when we explored uh, the depths of our hearts in the ruins. Things took a turn after that. I couldn't stop thinking about Saber. My purpose for fighting had changed. My purpose for fighting changed, and I realized I loved her. How can I lose someone like that? Saber doesn't say anything. I can't think of anything to say either. Once we've climbed um, the stairs and reached the top, there'll be nothing for us uh, to talk about. A little while later, I'll lose, uh, I'll lose Saber and, and have to say goodbye. But this is the only time we, uh, we have to say goodbye. We climb the stairs. If I want to avoid saying goodbye, I just have to chatter about in uh, insignificant stuff like before. For example, let's go to town when we go home. What should we eat for breakfast tomorrow? Insignificant stuff. I can't even seem to do that though. Because whatever I say, you know, those could end up uh, being our last words. A clear end. Neither Saber or I uh, could say uh, uh, could say a clear goodbye. And now we're at the temple gate. This is my last chance. If we proceed, it'll all be over. If we go back, if we go back, maybe I can think of something that would stop me from losing her. Saber, I stop and turn to Saber. She is the same as ever. Her face is composed, but her eyes eh, seem tense. She is trying to hold something in. The moment I see eh, those eyes, I'm assailed uh, by a eh, temptation on all so by temptation on all sides. Temptation to run away, temptation to turn and eh, to turn back so I don't lose her. Temptation to tell her what I really want, assured eh, she'll accept. My resolve wavers. The temptations are begging, itching to be voiced. I bite my tongue. Let's go. This will be our final battle. I tell her, just like usual, uh, uh, just like usual, and is her master. Saber nods silently. 
I see the strength in her eyes, full of resolve, uh, as they always are. I won't make any requests. The same way she believes in me, I'm going to believe I made the right choice. I cross the threshold of the temple gate. Um... Hey, Kakarot, uh, uh, hey, Kakarot, uh, welcome, Kap uh, Kakarot, welcome to the stream, how was your day? Um, this is, uh, this is the fate route. We're, uh, we're basically at the end of the fate route. <laughs> hey, it's me, Goku. <laughs> well, don't go throwing any Kamehameha's. I want this channel to live. <laughs> There's no turning back now. I can't say anything. Not that I could uh, say what I really wanted anyway. But I want to at least believe that this frustrated silence managed to convey my feelings. That's good. We finished climbing the long stone stairs. This is our final memory of our time together on this earth. The summit is bathed in a crimson glow. The wind whips at my uh, face, uh, seeming, uh, seeming to come um, from, that, uh, red uh, from that red light uh, somewhere at the rear of the temple grounds. The air is heavy with death. It reminds me of that fire ten years ago. But it's different. Bound up in the red light, I spy something that look, uh, looks like uh, it's going to ooze is out over the temple itself. It's out past the building. A glistening blackness like mucus spreads over the vivid red. The mud, uh, the mud spreads uh, like oil over the clear ground. It oozes over the ground, contaminating it, killing everything it touches. It's like a visible curse. Even a mage like me, in, uh, in training as I am, understands that stuff only acts on and the human psyche and will only swallow human bodies. Then you don't have to worry about spoil, uh, uh, spoilers. I'm, I'm as blind of, as a bat in this specific route since the anime, uh, this route, uh, that is kind of bad and I'm too lazy to read you. Uh, it runs yapping for uh, like two hours. <laughs> I personally enjoyed uh, the Fate anime, it, uh, uh, the original Fate anime. It's what made me, uh, it was, it's what made me a, uh, a fan. Um, Gogamesh stands there, hollowed uh, by the vivid red glow. He pays no mind to the blood red glow uh, or the death shroud blackness. The servant armored in gold waits in the middle of the uh, temple grounds for Saber and Saber alone. Koroaimoyoi,聖杯も要約を思い越しを上げ、穴が開いたところだ。この呪いこそが聖杯の中。我らサーバンとこの世に留める第三要素。十年前、お前が俺に浴びせたものだ。Gilgamesh has eyes only for Saber. Saber is similarly focused on him. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front. He steps forward and points her sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. He steps forward and points his sword at the knight in front of her. As if to answer, the Golden Knight raises one arm. At the same time, a shimmering haze forms behind him. The King's treasure, hundreds of noble phantasms, are readied in that haze, like bullets that's loaded into a gun. Ah, I 
ずっと考えていたぞそんば<笑>嫌がるお前をどう組みつあれを飲ませるかいやおわ泣きむせる顔を踏みつけその体を染め抜くほどの泥を飲ませもだえ死ぬに耐えきれず俺の足元にすがりつくその汚れきった姿をな Well, it's、uh, UBW、uh, for me, but、uh, that's pretty valid. Uh, but even so, uh, Faye Routney, uh, uh, it's a remake. Besi uh, uh, besides, it would be cool、uh, to see this match repeat its current animation styles. Word, I totally get you. Now that, they're,、uh, now that uh, they've adapted. And,、um, Now that they've adapted、uh, the、uh, the um, Unlimited Blade Works into its own anime, and then the、um, and the Heavens Feel、uh, route into a series of movies, they should re、uh, they should like redo the,、uh, the Fate route. Because, like the, like the, like the anime, the,、um, the Fate route like mixed, mixed、um, various elements from the other two routes. よく言ったならばその身が同じ末路をたどろうと異論はないな英雄を She takes another step Saber walks right into range of all those noble phantasms This isn't a battle I can help with No ordinary, no ordinary human could step up into this battle between Saber and Gilgamesh <laughs> それでこそ Saber 俺には勝てないと知った上でなおその気概宴の終わりを飾るにふさわしいな邪魔はいらぬそこの雑種琴峰に用があるのなら早々に消えろ奴は祭壇で貴様を待っている Well thanks for the follow Kakarot See, that would be、uh, cool. Besides, Rin got a、uh, series, Sakura got three movies. Then it would only be、uh, fair、uh, if Saber got her chance. Yeah. Kuh. <laughs> Could it mean he's waiting? I glance at Saber. She gives a slight nod, her eyes still null on Gilgamesh. As I leave, I feel her wishing me luck. I turn around. My opponent is elsewhere. Behind me. As I run, I hear the sounds of Saber's deadly、uh, battle beginning. Deep in the grounds, behind Andriota Temple's、uh, main building, is a large lake. It's been untouched for so.、Uh, Uh, for a long time, making it,、uh, it seem,、uh, making it seem sacred, like it's, an,、uh, like it, uh, it's, uh, it's inhabited、uh, by a dragon god. The lake's clear blue water is so pure and clean, with not a trace of cloudiness. At least that was true until yesterday. The lake is far from pure now. Red phosphorescence spreads out before me. It is a sea of dark,、uh, murky tar. And. Red hat, Kodamine, you have to take off the clothes. Goddamn pervert. A hollow chasm yawns in midair. The body of a young girl floating near her in offering. Oh, and, and, um, yeah! They're playing the menu, they're playing the menu music right now. Kotomine! I've been trying to remain calm all this time, but that sight drives me over the edge. I stop and glare at the enemy. Must stab. The end of his lips curl up in a smile, and he spreads his arms in greeting. 
Our final battle will be fought here. This will be the summoning and altar in this Holy Grail War. That is like a meme. <laughs> Put down Elia. I'll thrash you before. I'll thrash you after that. We're about 10 meters apart. As soon as I take another step, the battle will begin. I don't know what kind of mage Kotamine is, but he likely uses projectile weapons like Tosaka. On the other hand, my only option is to get in close and punch him in the face. <laughs> and stab. Even Tosaka's dagger concealed uh, with Tosaka's dagger concealed behind me, I still need to get close. I think that fake priest is haunting me for some reason. <laughs> I mean, fair. I oh, asked yes, the 10 meters apart social distancing. <laughs> I mean, if anything can count uh, and as a pandemic, I would think black mud spreading would uh, count. But before that, uh, I need to do something about Elia. Hey, did you hear me? I told you to put Elia down. What kind of scum are you, taking pleasure in tormenting a child like her? As long as your life lasts, then Ilya is still alive. If you have no intention of bringing her down, then I'll make you. I'm going to stop your wish, and it's this dark mud right here, right now. What? Yep. And you know what, with the, uh, with the official, uh, with the, the official release of this, you know, this game, this is actually a pretty, uh, this is actually a good, pretty good time to re uh, remake uh, the uh, Fate Route anime. Capitalize on, uh, uh, on that type, Moon. What is he talking about? If that's true, he didn't become a master uh, because he had a wish to fulfill, but instead just so he, he can uh, could open this thing? Kodamine, what is your wish? I grit my teeth and glare at him. He smiles wider. So, it's such a simple answer. What? I mean, I can't imagine and who, who who wouldn't. Eh? What the hell? He 
He's a sadistic mat as a kid, as Shiro. Uh, just take a knife and do a stab. Yes, stabby stab. Must stabby stab. Also, yeah, I, uh, I can get into books, but uh, it's, and, um, I tend to lose myself uh, up in the pages a lot. Not like lose myself in the story, but I tend to lose my place a lot. And uh, so when I'm reading longer stories, it kind of gets real difficult for me. Why? Well, I've never thought about that sort of thing before. So そう、そう、音楽も物語も、愛憎も連敏も、信頼も裏切りも、道徳も背徳も、幻想も真実も、全て、全て抱きすべき不純物に過ぎる。そのようなもの、所詮は残りかすに過ぎぬ二流の娯楽。
何だってそんなだってことにねお前の望みは何だ His voice was even muted during the prologue for some reason. I guess that was part of the update. But yeah, we're running in with that just to give me that little much less to read. <laughs> I mean, read out loud. <laughs> Bullshit. That day. How could he ever describe the hell of that day like that? The priest smiles, pleased with himself. Is he saying. That he thinks all the people、uh, dying helplessly was wonderful, beautiful, was a wonderful, beautiful thing. So I focus、uh, on my feet. Every muscle、uh, in my、uh, legs tense, ready、uh, to break、uh, into a sprint. Stabby stab! I search for it as fast as I can. He's a little less than 10 meters away. If I just、uh, head straight at him, I can. I throw myself sideways. I want to just kill him. But my instincts kick in, saving me from death. I go tumbling across、uh, the ground scr、uh, and scrambling、uh, to look up. I glance back、uh, where I'd just been running. The ground is on fire. The dark mud spreading all over the lake is streaming. Is steaming. <laughs> streaming. <laughs> You can't blame me for that,、uh, Fumble. Water, stream. Stabby, stab,、uh, stab,、uh, stabbing the stab. <laughs> the stabby, yes. It's like a dark carpet. Mud coils and lunges at me,、uh, snapping and like a whip. It leaves a searing welt on the ground. <laughs> Then we need add, we need acid、uh, rounds, and it's good against living things. Um, I leap out of the way and,、uh, and you know, the black mud as it,、uh, as it strikes at me once again. To hell with darting around blindly. This bastard is intent on killing me. I reposition myself, keeping my, an eye on the lake. I'm no closer to Kotamine. Looks like he's gonna、uh, uh, keep me 10 meters away. That muddy tentacle seems. Seems to be able、uh, to stretch endlessly. It follows no matter how far I retreat, and it's not,、uh, and it's not the only one. I just had a flash of Dio there. Oh, you're approaching me? <laughs> Look into the stream, it's your favorite grail mud in Kotamine from, from Fuyuki City. Now we are going to beat this orphan boy with the red hair. Yokuyu. <laughs> 
人を背中から襲ったやつがなそんな言葉を吐くんじゃない He's probably remembering what hap、uh, happened with、uh, Lancer when I say that. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Oh, wait, I'm gonna uh, 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 do it. Is it a JoJo reference? You heard it here, folks! You heard it right here! Kota Mine was, was gay for Kuratsugo! He was sporting a hate burner for 10 whole years. The tentacle twists toward me. It looms over、uh, the lake, its sickle shaped head like a dark serpent. I bite my lip. I'm in about the worst possible situation here. More and more tentacles emerge from the lake. I'm not sure how much longer I can even survive to say, to say nothing of getting near Kotamine. Just take the movement and right there,、uh, like showing, the,、uh, showing a shift in perspective happening. Again, I love how this game conveys movement with still,、uh, with still images. The priest raises his hand. He stares at the heavens like a conductor leading an orchestra. I mean, he probably sleeps while hearing <laughs> me a, a scream of despair. Wait, that's my、uh, head cannon now. Kotamina has a recording of Kurt and s u k a crying in despair, and he, li and, and he listens to them every time he goes to sleep. <laughs> yeah, this game is awesome. And I'm very happy to finally own an official copy of it. The serpent surges forward. Oh, damn! Sparks fly in all directions. The Golden Knight steps back, evading a series of savage attacks, executed with astonishing skill. She must have seen it as an opening. Saber twists away from, the short sword,、uh, from a short sword fired at her and takes a step uh, for, uh, toward her enemy. <laughs> yep, it is definitely a lot of swords. Her shout near,、uh, tears through space. Her, so,、uh, her sword strikes like a comet. Near through space. What the fuck am I reading? She presses the attack on the Golden、uh, Knight. She stumbles backwards,、uh, backward, overwhelmed by her、uh, skill and.、Uh, he, he stumbles backwards, overwhelmed by her skill and ferocity. By the way, g i l l a n the、uh, Red Archers use a sword, and yet they are archers. Amusing. Yeah, uh, like. Uh, um, I know, I know it's practically a meme about archer,、uh, about there being practically no archers who use bows. But the thing about archers is, 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 they, is they don't necessarily, they're not necessarily required to use as bows. It's about using, they, as long as they use projectiles and firearms. That's the, that's the archer specialty. So it works for him because, like, he just shoots them out of the gate. So Titanic、uh, gives the.、Uh, his, sword, uh, his sword dances. 
her sword dances. So titanic is the strength behind and her every blow. Each could scatter, uh, shatter boulders, smash it uh, down the wall, and uh, uh, smash down the wall of even the most impregnable fortress. And yet, the myriad uh, uh, the, uh, the myriad deadly weapons appearing from behind and her enemy turn aside every strike. Hey. Gilgamesh slaps. Uh, slips back from the onslaught, another sword in his hand. It's easy enough for her uh, to repel his strikes. She can't meet his, his attacks directly. Each of the enemy's weapons has, uh, has, has abilities she simply does not know. Being struck by a weapon and not knowing what it uh, might do is, is suicide. Saber steps away from her uh, uh, from her corner uh, enemy and uh, to compose herself. It's like, hey, I guess anyway, there are servant uh, and that uh, uh, that use a bow like uh, Grob Heaven Hood. Yeah, uh, wait, I forgot the other is uh, um, Google. Uh, um, well, Red Art, uh, Red Archer, and and um, uh, and then like. Uh, the girl based on uh, Red Archer do have bows in their move sets. Um, I forget the other guy, but he's the guy who makes rice. He as as one of the, uh, his things would as he beat a centipede. There's Art. Uh, there's Artemis. There's Adelante, Adelante Orion. Um. The girl based on Red Art, uh, sure. Yeah, I'm uh, 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 like, uh, um, okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tell a little story. There was like a fan, uh, there was like a fan dojin she made of this called Sword Dancers, and in that, uh, um, and in that, uh, um, uh, in that, uh, um, uh, mong, uh, in that uh, dojin she. There was, uh, was a character that fans had dubbed Archer Co. And then uh, Type Moon kind of made her uh, 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 Type Moon kind of made her canon because, like, there's this whole uh, um, there's this whole uh, um, uh, uh, there's this whole spinoff called Prisma Elia, which uh, like has Elia as, as like a magical girl. Yeah, and then. Um, she has a sister named Chloe von uh, von Einsburn, who is basically the, the, the canonized Archer Co. Yep. The reason why uh, she uh, she can use that stuff uh, is, is uh, connected to um. Is connected uh, to you know, how the story of uh, Prisma Elia works. She's actively using uh, Red Archer, uh, Red Archer, as um, uh, uh, servant powers. Uh, Saber steps away from her cornered enemy to compose herself. Gilgamesh, on the other hand, is not uh, at all troubled, picking himself up. <laughs> Gilgamesh shows no sign of fatigue. To him, this battle is merely a bit of entertainment. He can't very well uh, feel uh, feel nervous or tired when and he knows the, uh, with perfect certainty that he will win. It is another uh, it is another matter entirely for Saber. She knows that her only shot at victory is now before her enemy starts taking this seriously. She needs to defeat Gilgamesh before he can use Ea, or she will lose. And so, even knowing that uh, it may be impossible, she does not uh, relent in her onslaught, giving no uh, thought uh, to her own stamina. This isn't the first time she's is cornered her enemy, or the second. 
that she's never been able to break through you know, his wall of, you know, of novel phantasms. The ultimate cheat code besides Avalon. Yeah, the sword of rupture. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes I read the EA, it's EA Sports. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh no, that that make that makes Ia all that much worse. As I understand, though, no, Ia is named by um, Ia is, is named after a god in Sumerian mythology. それも時間の問題だ。お前は聖杯を知らぬ。あれの相手は俺でも手こずるのだぞ。お前ならいざ知らず、あのような小僧が。1分と持つものか。お前は俺には勝てぬし、あやつでは琴峰に勝てん。敗役を誤ったな。お前が聖杯に挑んでいれば、この戦いはお前の勝利だったろうに。There's no you know, amusement in the Golden Knight's eyes. He is he he's serious. But that's wrong. To Saber, the choice itself was a mistake. まさか。これが正しい選択だ。私は貴様にほう。減らず口を言うだけの体力は残っていたか。The air around Gilgamesh is twisting it uh, twists and distorts. Oh shit. He's got more swords! The air around Gilgamesh twists and uh, uh, more and more noble phantasms appear behind him. She adjusts her grip uh, upon her, uh, her her grip on her sacred sword. In truth, there is a way. There is only one way to defeat that Golden Knight. Yeah, I mean, when uh, is the number uh, uh, one money uh, uh, ripping and, uh, company, uh, and the other is uh, the num number one uh, sword which can rip, uh, rip the world apart. And I won't explain uh, about uh, the world ripping uh, apart as it would involve explaining how something and in fate, it works like counter uh, force and and stuff, uh, and, and it'd be insane. Yeah, I haven't, um, I haven't necessarily learned about the counter force uh, yet, so I'm not that well versed. Hopefully, they'll explain it at some point. I forget if they do that. Uh, so uh, during unlimited unlimited blame, it works. For a plan to succeed, certain conditions must be met. If she take if he uh, even and if she takes out Ia, she will still uh, be able to defend herself. Uh, and again, uh, uh, he will still be able to defend, uh, defend against her attack. If she has, uh, if he has any energy left, she would uh, she would also you know, have to take Ia's attack head on. And again, to uh, be sure whether uh, it's even possible to defeat. <laughs> They do it and explain it and 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 uh, in and unlimited blame works. Ah, then and um and then I look forward uh, to learning uh, to learning about that. But there is no other way to win. It is just a matter uh, of how to spin and that thing. And that thin thread of, uh, of hope and, and to real victory. I probably forgot about it because as, as it has been a while. Normally, her intuition would show her the best uh, route, and she would act in accordance with uh, what she sees. But that intuition is no help now. 
Perhaps her chances for victory, uh, her chances for victory are so slim that her intuition cannot show her the path. But she still has to fight. She has to keep fighting for she uh, for Shiro, who surrendered at his own defense by returning the sheath to her. She cannot let this man defeat her. So. <laughs> Even more weapons appear behind Gilgamesh. Every single shot, uh, every single one aim, aims towards Saber, moving without Gilgamesh even touching them. It is, it is going to be epic. Like uh, whatever, uh, uh, like whatever complaints you have about uh, the, uh, the fate route uh, the adaptation, and as it was, the uh, the fight scenes were amazing. Even if the animation wasn't and on on par with uh, some of the stuff we can get today, like if they uh, if they animated those fight scenes now, oh my god, it would be it would look even better. Before, only the hilts were visible. Now the blades emerge, awaiting their master's command. This is the way the knight should fight. Gilgamesh was never a swordsman. His many noble phantasms are deployed within time and space and become bullets under uh, their master's command. This is why he is an archer. Yep, he has a thousand noble phantasms, can't, uh, can't really use many of them um, head on. He is the strongest in that regard. Like all these swords in the ground, and he still has more. <laughs> with a single command, the reign of sword has to send his honor with godlike speed. Each of them possesses its own special fatal power. She evades every single one and, and as a, uh, gracefully slipping be between falling leaves. A sword from the front, a spear from the left, pole arms from above and below. Three, uh, a three-pronged so uh, uh, sword uh, sweeping at her in an arc. A hammer large or even uh, uh, than even uh, bleh, a, la uh, a hammer larger uh, than her uh, than her streaks towards her like a meteor. She blocks Perry's dodges, then twists away for the uh, uh, from the final attack. <laughs> Saber's breathing is labored, and, and she struggles to regain her ground. And after being put on uh, on the back foot. I mean, to be honest, uh, uh, since Gilgamesh is the first uh, hero, he owns every single treasure of the world uh, uh, and, and all myth. The, uh, I think Gate uh, you know, of Babylon and works something like that. Yeah, basically, the Gate of Babylon is a uh, is a rea reality marvel that acts as a tre as his treasury. At that moment, she sees something behind her enemy, behind Gilgamesh. 47 noble phantasms are already deployed, all at the ready. She leaves with all her might. As if to prevent her from escaping, a flurry of noble phantasm races towards her, tearing up the earth. A torrent of noble phantasms slams into the ground one after another. Her armor is shattered, her gauntlets split open, even then her greaves are impaled. Saber manages to avoid, sus uh, avoid uh, sustaining any fatal wounds, but in that moment she sees something even worse. Miko! Miko! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a Tamamo simp. 
beyond the reign of uh, you know, the reign of noble phantasms, as, as if to finish off uh, the, his, his exhausted prey, the king of heroes draws his favorite sword. Oh fuck! All of them. At least all that I've seen so far. Saber lets gravity carry her back to the ground. She lands hard and immediately pours magical energy into her sword. But she isn't sure uh, she can make it uh, in time. Well, all I, uh, all I know, like, like, um, uh, like, original Tamamo, no, no, Tammy Cat, um, both Koi and, and Skyers. And, and, um, and Arya. I haven't met the other, uh, I haven't seen the others. I don't know if they come in, in, in at, uh, if they come in at any point in some um, other story. But I think, you know, like, Tide Moon and talked about introducing them in, di in different media or something. The wind howls. The blade of light emerges, and she raises uh, her sword. Uh, and she raises her sword without waiting uh, for uh, the wind to finish unraveling. She doesn't bother deflecting the rain of uh, noble phantasms. She simply swings her sacred sword with all her might and all the swiftness she, with swiftness she can muster. She's too late. Gilgamesh sweeps his other noble phantasm aside and swings Ia. I kick away the, the mud clinging to my ankles. My clothes are burnt and my skin is exposed. Goddamn, Shiro's voice actor does a way better job than I uh, than I do. I jump away uh, from the lunging tentacle. I can't feel uh, my mud uh, my mud coated uh, right ankle, and I it wasn't uh, entirely sure I even still had a right uh, leg and, until I used it to leap away. I check my body while I roll. Ankle, okay. Yeah, it's still there. I still, uh, I just can't uh, feel it. It's more or less intact. I can then uh, still probably run. <laughs> yeah, the voice actor does a great job. The voice actors they get uh, for the character uh, 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 the, uh, to voice each servant is am uh, are amazing. Like, Tamamo's voice actor has great range. I jump, um, uh, I jump in another direction to avoid the mud's uh, relentless attacks. Besides me, I hear a splash. The scent of burning earth uh, wakes my dizzy head, and I push myself back on, uh, to my feet. A burning sensation and, and sears its way down my back. I shake it off uh, and jump uh, to the closest uh, clear, gr uh, clear ground. The mud pursuit relents. I can no longer see any, any, any of the black mud that surrounded me. I bite my lip. I dodged and uh, I dodged and ran all over the place, but in the end, 